Okay, so the question says, for a light spring, which obeys Hooke's law, a tension of 160 newtons would produce an extension of 72 millimeters. The spring is hung vertically from a fixed point and a mass of 12 kilograms is attached to its lower end. Now the question asks us to calculate the extension of the spring. So first of all, some things to consider. The question says that the spring obeys Hooke's law. So therefore we can uh, use Hooke's law to help us solve this problem. And Hooke's law tells us that the extension of a spring is directly proportional to the force applied. So we can write it mathematically then as F, which is the force, is equal to K x where k where k is some constant and x is the extension and again force is labeled as f so what are we given now we are given that a tension which is a force causes a, an extension of 72 millimeters but the question asks us to find the uh find the extension of a spring when a mass of 12 kilograms is attached. So to do this, we will first need to find the spring constant K in order to solve part 1. So we can find the spring constant K by rearranging the formula to K is equal to F over x and we are told that a uh, tension of 160 newtons so a tension of 160 newtons will cause in an extension of 72 millimeters so using our formula and rearranging the formula to show that k is equal to f over x we can say then that the force is 160 newtons and the extension x is equal to 72 millimeters which is simply 0 0.072 meters so we can plug these, vari these variables in our formula and have 160 newtons divided by 0 0.072 meters and that works out to be that works out to be 2200 22.2 newtons per meter so we have found the springs constant but again the question wants us to find the extension of the spring when a 12 kilogram mass is attached so let me just break the page here and we're going to use our formula again to say that f is equal to kx and again we're finding the extension so rearranging gives us that x is equal to f divided by k which comes down to be the force of this thing here now we are told that a mass of 12 kilograms so we need to find the force which this 12 kilograms uh, mass uh, offers to the spring now thinking about it intuitively, the mass of the spring will basically uh, be acting on the spring as weight. And we know that weight is a force, so weight is equal to mass times gravity, which is simply 12 kilograms multiplied by 10 newtons per kilogram, which is... 120 uh, newtons so this is our weight here which is a force so we're going to use this in our expression here so we have 120 newtons divided by spring constant which is this here this is a spring constant so we have 2222.2 newtons per meters and that works out to be 
uh, 0 0.054. Zero point zero five four on units meters. So part two now asks us to find our part two says actually the mass is now pulled down a further distance of eighteen millimeters and then released. What is the resultant force acting on it immediately after release and what is the acceleration produced? So let's do a little sketch of what this is so let's say this is our support which actually holds the spring in place and we have the spring attached here and we we'll just have the spring coil like that and we have the weight attached and this is 12 kg <laughs> So, after attaching the 12 kilogram mass, we get an extension of 0 0.54 uh, meters. So, the spring extended, uh, let's say from some point to uh, 0 0.54, 0 0.054, let me get this right. So the spring extended to 0 0.054 meters and then it was pulled down at a further distance of 18 millimeters which is just 0 0.018 meters. So the spring got pulled down or let me... So the spring was pulled, uh, the weight was pulled down. So this is the... The weight got pulled down, same 12 kg, got pulled down and the distance which it was pulled down is 0 0.018 meters. So the question now asks us to find the resultant force acting after uh, the weight is released. So to do this, we have to say that the force <coughs> F is equal to kx now we are given or we have from our diagram we have two extension we have an extension here and we have an extension here so which one of these extensions do we need to use so the way it was here 0 0.54 after causing an extension of 0 0.54 meters and then it got pulled down now we want to find the force after being released from this point so in this case we'll need to use this extension here and the reason for this is think of it this way the spring or the weight is attached to the spring and it is at a new extension and then the weight is pulled down a further extension so we need to use the extension caused by this because in this region to find the force in the similar region so we can say then that f is equal to kx so that works out to uh, spring constant again 2222.2 newtons per meter and that is the value which we calculated earlier right and we multiply this by the extension of 0 0.2 zero one eight meters and if we use our calculator that works out to be thirty nine point nine 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 six or we can just say this is forty newtons so we have found the force, but the question says we need to find the acceleration produced. So to do this now, we are going to get a color here and say that we're going to use um, Newton's second law, 
which says that the acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the force applied. So since we have the force, we can use this we have the force and we have the mass of the object. So we can use Newton's second law, which says that force is equal to mass times acceleration. And we want to find the acceleration here. So we go and say then that acceleration A is equal to force over mass. And this goes to be 40 newtons divided by the mass. And the mass again is 12 kilograms. So the mass is 12 kilograms. So we say 40 divided by 12 works out to be 3.3. 3 meters per second squared. You can find more great physics tutorials like these over on my website at realgenerobertz.com.